a very fun fact about this is those people in here, like when they are called Moore, like Alicia Moore, which is pink. I think she's uh, Moore. She's born rich. She didn't make her money like in the celebrity cribs on MTV. They used to show their houses and stuff. They were born rich. They didn't make the money. They just are from the elite, so they want to be the relevant ones, the ones that deliver art and everything, you know. So it's always them on the red carpet, mostly. Because uh, it's a game. If you have me as a famous person, I would in an interview look up and say, oh, lots of camp chills. Pink doesn't do that, ever. She won't. She's from the elite. She knows the game. But geoengineering, the parliament member in Switzerland, a woman called Somaruga, has talked about it and how horrendous it is that geoengineering aka chemtrail isn't a topic and she wants to dive into that. So, these people in here aren't the ones that actually rig the game or rule, but they are put out there for us so that we can kind of make up a world and kind of have false facts that we contemplate upon. And like that we of course never get to the truth and we won't ever kind of do the right choices. Yeah, to get this place uh, in our hands. In the Bible it says early on how the elite was managing to get hands on all the land. You know, just when there is a bad year crop-wise, borrow out. They were lending crop to the people. So the ones that they needed to borrow crops had to repay next year. So they got into debt. Year by year, it wasn't possible to get food from the land to eat and repay the debt. So actually in Judaism it says after seven years all is set to zero. But the Romans changed that. Nothing is set to zero. Since I live, Africa is in debt. So all the other countries and the World Bank can tell Africa what to do. Because of that, of course, Africa, they've got huge lands. They could feed themselves properly won't be able to do so because there is crisis. They just buy their land. Presidents, the nation's presidents, they rig the game. Yeah, so yeah. Then here again, I tried to so this is the whole thing. So if you have 40%, which might be even more now, it might be 50, it's continuously growing. And from all the people on earth, these 50% are controlled by that many people. It's not even possible to draw it correctly. That's all us, you and me in here. But down here, there's a few conglomerates that rig the whole game. Well, that's easy to do. That's not complicated, is it? A conglomerate has got a board. And that board has got the president. So it's a few people in the end. So, because they are so few, they don't want to be overrun by us, right? So what they do is these magazines. And usually, when people in the politics meet, that's the reason for them to meet. There is no magazines out with politicians shaking hands. But there's the news in the media. You see them shaking hands there for the same reason. The people in the magazines, they become relevant because I told you when there is a group of people living together. 
spend time with each other, not intending to, but they will eventually like each other. Think positive about each other and on the other hand not attack each other. That's why group meetings are held in a lot of social facilities, but also why group meetings are held in all the companies, so the people working there, they don't really decide upon stuff in all those group meetings, but they will work together much better. That's biologically what happens when people come together regularly, just sit in a room and do nothing. That one would be enough. Talking isn't necessary. Sit there, spend time with each other, like people were spending time with each other in small groups when they were living in small uh, tribes. Today it's real bad, like for hours now we contemplate on this very first page, right? <coughs> but it's good that we do so because now we learn what the world is made of. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I want to show you the queen, which is an actor, and uh, she's got all the piercings I used to have. Yeah, we spent a lot of time on this very front page here. So we learned the magazines are owned by the conglomerates, owned by the elite, which consists of 1% of humanity, also 1% of all the conglomerates around. They own 40% of world's finance and it's 50 conglomerates. And I Ruling. Oh yeah, the Pope is the religious 
godfather kind of beside the real one in heaven also yeah he's the spiritual leader there deciding stuff but no they're just out there to kind of fill the magazines all the five media conglomerates are owned by the elite again and all the media kind of you know the pictures and isn't that just all is owned by them so like you're working for a newspaper the newspaper get their pictures from certain agencies they don't use other pictures right so then if the agencies are owned by the elite no picture gets out that shouldn't get out so this is not showing him like in a too big something that picture is okay they want all this to be out there to fill our heads see the photos is getty images it's all them they want us to contemplate actors that pretend to be royals so that we think yeah these are the ones ruling us so the queen goes to the British Parliament and she opens the session, secession year, something. She doesn't do any decisions. The decisions actually are made by think tanks like the Royal Institute of International Affairs in London or uh, the Council on Foreign Relations in New York then kind of hand it down to the politicians so also to the Vatican so the Vatican then would just put out the same papers like the United Nations does which is yeah all people need to live in crowded cities and everyone has the right to own uh, free time the right to uh, eat to sleep to have a house and this and this and that so when you have a lot of houses in South Africa already people can break into your houses and live there as long as you're not around so you get to your house foreigners are in there you call the police they don't do anything because as I said the United Nations have got these papers out everyone is entitled to have a place to sleep food blee blah blue so that one is overruling this kind of uh, national law that that uh, foreigner actually invaded your house. I heard this by Walter Waite. It's a fact in South Africa already. 